All right, YouTube, we're back with part two of my gaming console collection video. We left off on the Dreamcast. Let me just recap real quick what we got. We went through the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo GameCube. I'm sorry. The Nintendo Wii. And from there, we talked about Sega Genesis, Model 1, of course. Sega Saturn. And we left off, as I said, on the Sega Dreamcast. This was the 128-bit console that Sega released in 1999, in America anyways, in 98 in Japan. Amazing console, man. So many good games, as I mentioned on the last video. Uh, a couple of other features about the system that were revolutionary was the memory card, the VMU, Visual Memory Unit. Uh, I have one. I should have brought it out. Uh, it's in my drawer. It's a memory card, but it has a little LCD screen, and it actually has its own D-pad and A and B button. And it was so revolutionary because if you were playing a football game, for example, like NFL 2K, and you didn't want your play on screen, and you didn't want to have to press a bluff button or all that, try to psych out your opponent, you could actually play call from your VMU on your own controller. No one could see that but you. So little things like that made it revolutionary. It was just a great, great thing, man. The Dreamcast one of my favorite consoles of all time. Well, from there, we go on to um, make sure I got everything here that I need. Yes, I do. All right, from there, we go on to Sony. And I got the Sony PlayStation 1. This is the Model 1. This was the original design of the PlayStation 1 before they went to that ugly little oval rectangle looking white thing that they got now but this is the model one as you can see you got your two controller ports right here and your two memory card ports right there you got your disc tray very nice looking design um, you press the open button right here you got your disc tray right there you got your power button Sony logo and you got your standard connections on the back audio video cables uh, you know your uh, serial IO connector and your AC power connector right there Great console, not my favorite of that generation. I gotta admit, I was an N64 baby, and I will always be an N64 baby. That was my my thing. Uh, to me, the 64 was such a better system than this. But I will give this credit where credit is due. It did outsell the N64, and it did beat it commercially. Uh, great games on the PlayStation One, such as Metal Gear Solid, which is a Nintendo franchise originally. I just had to slip that in there. Uh, we had uh, Metal Gear Solid One, Metal Gear Solid Two, I believe. Um, we had Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and a bunch of others, Spiral the Dragon, uh, Parappa the Rapper, Twisted Metal, um, what else, man, uh, Cool Borders, snowboarding franchise that was out back in the day. Great console, man. Had a lot of good games, had a lot of third-party support, and uh, it was a CD-based system. And it was also cool because the CDs on the back were black. They were black-coated on the back instead of just regular CDs, so it just had this little mystique to it. Uh, just a great console, man. Good controller. Uh, not much complaints, man. Other than that, other than in my book, the N64 was a lot more powerful and had a lot better games, in my opinion. But it is still a great console, and that's why it's in my collection. PlayStation 1. From there, I skipped the PlayStation 2 because I am not a big fan of Sony, number one. Number two, I did not feel that the PlayStation 2 had, and I know some people kill me on this, but... It's just my honest opinion, man. The PlayStation 2, to me, did not have the type of games that I like to play. It did not have games that caught my attention. Uh, your Grand Theft Autos, your your Metal Gears, you know, things like that. Um, your Final Fantasy 26 or whatever it was. I, I'm not a big fan of those. Those don't call my attention. I'm a Zelda, Mario, you know, Metroid, Smash Brothers. You know, if you want to get into fighting games, uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, things like that. I'm not big on the Grand Theft Auto, True Crime, Streets of L.A., uh, Dead to Rights, you know, games like that. I'm not I'm not big on those, man. So I just didn't see any reason to get a PlayStation 2, and I still don't see one. It may end up in my collection one day just because it was as big a success, a success as it was, but it's not one of those consoles that I like to play. Never once did I consider, you know... Trading in my GameCube for PS2 or buying a PS2 to put alongside my GameCube never once, man. It just did not get my attention. Uh, in the in the in the first Sony and Nintendo war, the N64 and the PlayStation, I went and I bought a PlayStation to put right alongside my N64 because there was games on the PlayStation One that I wanted to play that weren't available on the N64. Uh, and in today's generation, the Nintendo Wii, I have a Nintendo Wii as my system of choice. 
I got a PlayStation 3, which is the next system I'm showing you. I got the 80 gigabyte monster PlayStation 3. It's a beautiful console, beautiful piece of hardware. Uh, I went and I got this because there were certain games on the PS3 that I couldn't play anywhere else, uh, that I couldn't play on the Wii. Uh, mainly sports games, you know. It was either 360 or PS3, and I don't trust 360, so I got a PS3. Uh, plus, it has Blu-ray, and I have a HD TV, so I want to take advantage of that. But like I said, N64 was my thing, but I put a PlayStation 1 right next to it just because there was games that I wanted on the PS1. Wii is my thing, but I put a PS3 right next to it because there's games that I want to play on PS3. When the GameCube was out, GameCube was my thing, and I did not get a PS2 because there was nothing on the PS2 that caught my attention, man, nothing. So that's why I don't have it. But again, back to the PlayStation 3, just a beautiful console. As you can see Jet Black. Yeah, my son likes it. Jet Black with the chrome PlayStation 3 letters right there. You know, it's got a, the buttons are touch sensitive, such as the power and the eject buttons right here. On, I'm sorry, right here where my finger's at. They're touch sensitive. I don't know if you can see them. You just got to touch them and it happens. You don't have to press nothing. There's the disk drive. Got so much functionality. You open this flap right here. You got SD cards. Uh, um, I forgot SD. Uh, you got SD plugs. You got USB ports. You got so much stuff in there, man. Uh, just an amazing, amazing console, man. Great games such as Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, you got, um, I'm sorry, uh, I went blank. God of War 3 that just came out. You got Uncharted, Uncharted 2. Uh, just a great, great exclusives. Just not that many of them, bro. Killzone 1 and 2, Resistance 1 and 2, amazing games. But uh, I got the console mainly because I'm a sports junkie, man. And as great as I love the Wii and the motion controls, for sports games, I want that uber realistic, photo realistic graphics and a control pad. I don't need motion for those. So. For the for that and for certain exclusives and for the Blu-ray capability, I got a PS3. So you know, uh, I mean, but as far as exclusives go, like I said, Uncharted one and two, Resistance one and two, Killzone one and two, God of War three, uh, Heavy Rain, um, Heavenly Sword, a bunch of great games on the PS3. Awesome graphics, HD all the way, 1080p. Um, but I got a mean, like I said, for the sports titles, Madden, NBA Live, NBA 2K, stuff like that, man. So uh, games that I own on this console. Mortal Kombat vs. DC, I love that game. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, love that game. Uh, Modern uh, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Need for Speed Shift, games like that. But as you know, those games are multi-platform. They're also available on the 360. So, you know, it's a great system. It just needs some more big-time exclusives, man. Like the, like the Wii has so many exclusives. We need more exclusives on the PS3 that are worth our time. But it's a great console, man. And uh, last but not least on my uh, console collection... As, as you'll recall, you heard me talking about the PS2 and how I didn't get one uh, when the GameCube was out. How I got a PS1 alongside my 64 and I got a PS3 alongside my Wii. But what did I get alongside my GameCube? Well, I decided to take a chance and go with the original Microsoft Xbox, which is a freaking hulking monster of a console. Look at the size of this thing, bro. Uh, not a bad console, man. Not great, but not bad either. Uh, you know, as far as a uh, game, uh, you know... Multiplayer ability. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of dark, but it's got four controller ports in the front. Ever since the 64, every console comes with four controller ports. You got your power and your eject button and your disc trays right up here. Nice, you know, futuristic X looking logo on the front. You got your basic connection on the back, Ethernet cable connection because it does support online multiplayer, and uh, your basic uh, power connections. This console uh, had a great controller, by the way, which was an exact ripoff and replica of the Sega Dreamcast controller. Uh, it also had some it had some good games, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. I got an Xbox original because when I had my GameCube, the even though GameCube did have a lot of Star Wars games, there were Star Wars exclusives that were only available on the Xbox, such as Knights of the Old Republic, uh, the Jedi Academy, and things like that. I was a big Star Wars fan, and you know the GameCube started to lose a little steam towards the end of the life cycle, so I got the Xbox real late, and I just put them together, and then I had I had a great time gaming, man. Uh, great games on that console will include Halo One and Two. You had, uh, like I said, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. You had great sports titles. You had, um, also, my favorite fighting franchise, Mortal Kombat, did not come out on the GameCube much. Uh, if it did, it came out way after the game's release. It came out on the Xbox and the PS2, so that's another reason I got it. Um, but there was just great games on the, on the Xbox, man. I had my Need for Speed Most Wanted. That didn't come out on the GameCube until late. So, you know, that's why I got it, man. So that's my gaming console collection, man. I hope you've enjoyed it, man. I look to update to it soon, man. We'll see what I get, man. God bless y'all. Stay gaming.